Hello and welcome back. I'm Thomas and today we're building Alan Prost's McLaren MP43. Now there's only 23 parts in this kit which isn't that many. It's molded quite well but there are some sort of bits of flash around the place. On the rear wing here there's also a couple of injection points so what I'm doing is I'm filling those with some Mr. White Putty R. I'm gonna let that dry for a little while before sanding it flat and then I'll paint it. Now the body, you start with this uh, lower chassis here, which all needs to be black, and then the bodywork, I've painted TS26 pure white, and here I'm masking it according to the instructions, and then painting it in fluorescent red from Tamiya. Now there are decals included in the kit, but I think the paint looks much, much better. It's quite difficult to paint them because uh, there was a couple of bits of overspray in places. On such a kit this size, uh, you need to be very, very careful. Though the decals can help to create templates. So when I found that there were some places with a bit of overspray, I uh, tried to clear some of it off by using some polish. Also a little bit of wet sanding in places, but obviously you want to be really careful and not just ruin the hard work that you've done. Here what I'm doing is I'm masking over the paint that I want to keep and then using a little bit of polish on the uh, overspray. Now I'm happy with that, I'm going to mask around the cockpit section, which needs to be black. Here I'm using Tamiya Curved Tape. It's really good for this kind of job, but like with any tape, make sure that it's pushed down really tightly so that you don't get any bleed underneath. And there I am using some uh, Revell Aqua Matte Black. This is also going to be used for the inside of the cockpit. I'll clear coat over these parts later so it won't be matte black forever. It's fairly neat but where there's a little bit of uh, bleed through I'm just using this cocktail stick to clean those parts up and I'm pretty happy with that. Now the decals were okay but I decided to print some of my own, especially useful since I was going to give this the full tobacco livery. I added the one as Alan Prost was the world champion at the time, but I felt it was a little too dark so I printed off another one with a little lighter colour. And then you've got the Marlboro decals which go on the side of the uh, engine cover like so. As I printed these off myself I could have converted it to Stephanie Hansen's car, the number two. From 1987, this was the only year that he drove for the team. And there's the slightly different red one, which I think looks better. Pretty happy with that. Now, before moving on, let's hear from the driver himself, Alan Prost. Question for Alan. Uh, congratulations on the race result today. Is there anyone, do you think, on the F1 grid today that has quite as glorious hair as yourself? No, not today. I mean, maximum, but not more anyway. I think, yes, I think it's, uh, it's all. Have you ever thought about growing a moustache like Nigel? No, oh, it's even better. I think it's, uh, it's, <laughs> I'm quite happy for him. He's a nice guy, he's a fantastic driver, and I mean, there's no point to, to believe. We now move on to making the Prost figure himself. 
It's made up of two parts. You've got the body and the rear of the head, and then you've got the front of the head as well. Now I fit them on straight away and then uh, sand away the join from the middle of the helmet. That was then painted gloss white and I applied the helmet decals. I used a mixture of the kit decals and ones of my own. When I was happy that that was all painted, I then painted the body in matte red and the seat belts in black and added some other details as well. Finally, when that was cleared, the helmet visor, which I'd cut out of a plastic packaging, was glued onto the front of the helmet. And there it is done. Now for the wheels, they were all painted in black and then uh, the wheels are assembled first before adding the decals. Here you've got front wheels and then you've got a, a bar which fits into the middle. You want to push this firmly but carefully in as far as possible to make sure that your car has the uh, right width. There they are, the front and the rear. Here you can see the base of the car has been painted in satin black. And I'm test fitting those wheels. The decals worked pretty well. It's always good to do the outside ones before the inside ones. These decals weren't too difficult, but very warm water does help. Now then you've got the visor which goes at the front of the cockpit, the only clear part in the kit. I test fitted that and then I used some foam safe super glue to apply it into place. To be very careful with this. And you've got a very small tag Hoya logo that goes in the middle of that. This one was from the kit because um, I can't print white decals like this. Then the rear wing had been painted in white, then masked and painted in uh, fluorescent red. Here I'm doing some uh, satin black on the inside of the uh, rear wing. I've left on the masking tape to try to keep it as neat as possible. Here I'll now remove the tape and I'll add some decals, which uh, sadly I forgot to record. Roll hoop goes onto the middle, that's been done in black. And then the driver goes in before the car is assembled, here with a little bit of super glue. Here's a little test fit. The front axle I painted black. Steering wheel goes on the inside like so. And then that goes together with the rest of the chassis. Here you can see I also painted the light on the rear. That was silver and then with a little clear red over the top. And it rolls. Front wing goes on like so. And then the rear wing will go here. When those were all glued, the final piece of the puzzle was to attach the two wing mirrors to the front. These are incredibly tiny, so you need to handle them with the utmost care. Used a small dab of foam safe super glue on the end of a cocktail stick and then placed them correctly. And there it is, it's finished. I'm quite pleased with how this one has turned out. Masking at this small scale isn't very easy. And also, if you're interested in making all the McLarens, I believe that this is probably the only MP4 3 that you can find on the market. I'd say this kit is probably marginally better than the Lotus because it has the clear visor, but here you can see them both next to each other. I'm going to be working on a diorama, which you can see a preview of here. 
Thanks a lot for watching. Please leave a comment, like, share and subscribe, hit the bell icon and I'll see you soon.